NTA Programming Channel 13, TV Channel 217B, presents The Darwin Mahler Show. Now it's time for your hostess with the mostest, Darwin Mahler. Welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing today? Yes, we have a special guest today, and it is very exciting. It's going to be my friend, the crocodile dentist, Chepsy Colander. Yeah. And he is coming straight from Australia. He has a PhD in dentistry. Plus, he has studied with many Animal Planet people who have apparently taught him the art of pulling teeth on crocodiles. He even followed Steve Irwin around for a while before the accident. That left him bleeding on the side of the road. Now I would really like to welcome my special guest, Shepsy Collender. Shepsy? <laughs> Good day, mates. How are you all doing? How are you doing well? Yeah. It's fantastic to be here. It's quite a bit different in Australia, I can say. I would imagine. <laughs> Crockin' mate, did you hear that? It sounded like a didgeridoo. So, how long have you been pulling teeth on crocodiles? Well, that's a funny story, actually. I've been doing it for crack near 17 years now. I tell you, you see some mighty big crocs sometimes, and uh, some of them have, don't like their teeth getting pulled, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. So, what kind of tools do you use to pull these teeth? Well, typically we use dentistry tools. Uh, this pair of uh, special alligator dentistry pliers here. They're made for alligators, but I prefer them over the crocodile dentistry tools. Now, these here pliers are kind of modeled after a boomerang. Just in case you throw them, they come right back to you. <laughs> we also use some scalers, which we use to dig and gouge into the teeth. And they also have them little meals on the stick. I don't know if they have a name, but... Yeah, they work pretty handy. My gosh, so how many teeth have you been pulling? How many teeth, uh, typically for a crocodile, you get maybe about 15 or 20 before they really start to get antsy and want to squish around and kick oh. and bite at you. I can imagine. And how many crocodiles have done this to? Uh, in the 17 years I've been doing this, probably I would I don't know the exact number, but uh, I would guess maybe around 150 or so. And how did you get into this business? What made you really... I was actually born and raised by werewolves. And uh, I'm just joshing with you there. <laughs> I like to do that sometimes. People think us Australian people are a little different. I like to kind of gig people when I can. No, my father actually was a dentist. Not for alligators, for humans. and. Uh, since we live in Australia, they tend to wander up in the backyard, and me being a little kid and all, I would play with daddy's tools and just happen to go up to an alligator and pulled some teeth one time out of a baby. Mama wasn't too happy with that one, but uh, it was quite fun, and I kind of got a taste for it and kind of studied with it and went through it for the rest of my life. So I heard that you actually have one of your personal pets here. Why, yes, I do. She just happens to be right here. <laughs> She's completely harmless. She won't hurt you at all. Now, little Allie, it'll be all right. We'll get you home soon. <laughs> Why don't you show off Allie while our announcer, Peter, just talks about some fun facts about this wonderful creature. I'd be happy to. I know how to handle it. According to the Sydney National Zoo, Allie is a 4,000-pound short-tailed crocodile. She was born in captivity, but now resides in the home of our guest. Ooh. Takes a real Australian man to handle a woman like this. <laughs> Some crocodiles are known to have tens of teeth. Ah. You'll notice that the top row of teeth in the crocodile has a flat edge. That is mostly used for biting people's hands. The fun facts of it. No one. Oh, that's a good one, mate. You killed me, mate. You killed me. I haven't seen something like that since I saw Platypus wassail a wallaby. I'm sorry. A platypus wrestle a wallaby. Sometimes my accent gets a little thick, if you know what I mean. 
then I heard that you were going to demonstrate for us today. Yeah, yeah, I would be happy to. Now, as you can see, she has a little bit of look of anger in her eye, but it's okay. She's just frightened by the likes and all the people here in the audience. Okay. Now, I will take you through, step by step, how to pull a tooth out of a crocodile. Okay. Now first, you want to make sure to have the proper tool, as I mentioned before. Right. you got to get a firm grip. Some people like to choke up on the pliers and get them way up on past the knuckle. But you see, if you get in a bind and the alligator starts to kick and twist like sometimes they do, you can't get them off fast enough. See, right now it's stuck on. Right. You got that's so why I like to keep it down, right there on the fingertips. So if I need okay. to, I can get out real quick, you see. Right. Now, what you got to do is first you got to find the right tooth. Because you don't just want to start pulling teeth out of a crocodile. They tend to be a little angry with you when you do that one. So you gotta find the ones that are a little sensitive, so it's a little pokey action you got going on there. But right. you don't want to poke the tongue, cause that's the trap that snaps on you and it'll get you and it'll bite your hand off. Right. You don't want that. So now I'm gonna sit here and poke a little bit and try to find the right tooth, and let's we'll see what we got going on. I think I found one right here. Now you see, if you can look closely at this tooth, I don't know if the camera can see this from over here. But you can see is this tooth is a little looser and there's a little bit of purple around. That means it's swollen underneath. We're gonna pull that tooth out right here. Okay. You gotta be real gentle and get it around the tooth. Get a firm grip on it. And pull it out just like that before she even knows what hit her. Okay. There you go, that's a little souvenir for you. I should use preparation H. Uh, yeah, I'll put that on my dresser tonight. Yeah, there's nothing to it at all, mate. Matter of fact, why don't you just take the next tooth? Um. I'm good, really. No, go ahead, take the next tooth. <laughs> no, no, it's just like I showed you. Just get your fingers here. here. Let me see, let me see. Here. Get your fingers in the thing there. You hold on to it, and you just pull the tooth out. Really, easy. Uh, really, it's I'm completely sure. harmless, man. I promise you, they won't hurt you at all. Right. Um. Okay. Just grab. Now, don't get that tooth. That's the wrong one. You'll get your hand bit off if you pull that one, man. <laughs> Okay, um... There you go, just grab them. Kids, don't try this at home. There you go, just a little gently now. Pull it, get a hold of it. And pull it out real fast! Look at that, you did it, no problem. <laughs> See how easy it is? Yeah. You're a natural mate. Maybe I can use you as somebody I can hide. Uh, I think I'll pass. <laughs> well, why don't you do another one? You're doing such a good oh, job. No, no. We're no, here I, about you. No, I insist. I, I, I get so excited to see other people pull teeth. Th that's great, but... Seriously, I'm here to watch you pull teeth. I said I want to see you pull another tooth, mate. Uh, Maybe you didn't understand me. Uh, security? Peter! Another tooth. Uh, uh, Grab the flies, mate. Don't you come no closer now. We're going to have some fun with this crocodile. Now just grab one of the teeth. Be no problem. Um, Don't need to be nervous now, man. Uh, Hurry up and grab the tooth. It won't hurt you at all. Real easy, like that's it. That's it. Pull it out real quick now. See how easy it was. You don't need to worry, mate. There's no problem at all. We'll keep this here as a little reminder just in case you can see. Now, give me the pie if I want to take another stab at it out of here. You know what? Why don't we play a little? Game, mate. Um, uh, don't tell me you don't want to play my game. What what game would that be? Why? We're gonna pull the teeth, or we're gonna put our hand in the alligator's mouth. A uh, little alligator. <laughs> yeah, you want to play? Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Find the right tooth right here. Now, what you got to do? Your hand in the mouth, just in case. Ha! See? There's no problem at all, mate. Now it's your turn. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, no need to be a sissy, mate. Just go on in there and get in that crocodile's mouth. Just get your hand in there. Now be careful not to touch the tongue. And she'll sit down on you and get your hand in there. My Uncle Charlie lost four fingers doing this game, but it's still his favorite to play sometimes. <laughs> Come on, mate. Put 
put it right in there. Just grab a tooth, pull it out nice and quick like. There you go. That's my turn. This is what we call down under crocodile roulette, mate. You get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get this one right here. There we go. Just like that. Now, you see, you're winning. You got more teeth than I do. The thing with these teeth, you got to put them in there in your pocket just like that and wear them like a badge. Yeah, that'll get you respect now. That's how you get the shoes down under, mate. <laughs> Wait till we get home. I'll get you a favorite food. Kitten, cats, and little puppy dogs. Come on now. Why don't you get you another tooth? Just be real easy with it. Make sure you get a firm grip on the flies before you pull the tooth. Oh! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, oh, no! God. Such a sissy, mate. That's good. I really wanted to get to know you. Oh. Be fine. A few stitches and we'll pull your fingers right back on. It won't be a problem. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, maybe we should get him to a hospital. Where's? Yeah, yeah. Come on, security guys. You probably get him. Let me get. Let me get out his mouth. Come on, Alex. Take it. It's okay. It's okay, Allie. Did he scare you? That mean old man didn't hurt you, did he? <laughs> what do you think there, man? That's a good game now. You're an honorary Australian now. Real down on the chat. And, and we'll see you next week when we talk. Don't die. Gonna... That's just a loss of blood. He'll be all right in 20 minutes. Get him some orange juice. <laughs> How about when this is over, me and you go get us a nice cold Foster's, mate? That's the real beer now, not that wussy Budweiser stuff y'all have up here in the States. Cool. You ever follow that shark? He's up around here nowadays, ain't he? You've heard of him, haven't you? Hasn't Which everybody one? heard of him? Which one? The shark. The shark. Oh, yeah, of course. Shark, mate. Now I'll go after you like an angry wallaby on a koala bear, mate. Why, now I say that ain't the way it should be at all now.